Well, hello to all you future dental students out there. So, got some new posters for you guys, give you something else to look at. Spare no expense with my free Crest posters I just got, so. So your personal statement is one of your most important parts of your application. And I think it's also really cool because this is where they get a chance, this is their chance to kind of get to know you. Out of all the things in your application, this is where you get to stand out the most. You know, a lot of the other things in your application are just numbers, and they're going to see lots of other numbers and things like that. So this is our, your chance for them to really get to know you. So with that, our first piece of advice is this isn't like your resume. Don't just list like accomplishments. This is your opportunity for them to get to, they need to, get to know you. You know, so take advantage of that. They want to know who you are. They want to know who you are. Who you are. That sounds weird. So anyways, don't fill the stuff that's already in your application. If you want to expound on some stuff maybe in your application more or share like more per like experiences and go into more detail that you couldn't have gone in your application, then go for that. For sure do that. This the whole purpose of your personal statement is they want to get to know you. They want to know who you are and they want to know your why. Why dentistry? Like why you want to be a dentist. And this is your chance to show them who you are and why you would be a good dentist. Point number two is Kind of go along with that is when you talk about your why in dentistry, don't just go to cliches and like, I want to help people, which is fine. Like, that's a great thing, but make it specific to dentistry. There are a lot of professions that help people. Like I put, I wanted to help people in my, or in my personal statement as well. But I talked about a specific experience where I was doing some service in this island in Micronesia that people... Really, I had really bad teeth, and I talked about that and how I'd like to go and help them. And, like, that was kind of as a source of, like, what specifically in dentistry I could do to help people that, you know, that don't really have a dentist. So, I think. Number three, make it interesting. So, they're going to be reading a lot of these things. So, they're going to be, that can be pretty boring. So, try and make it interesting. You know, it's just like when you're writing, like, you know, when you're reading a book. It starts off with a hook. They try and hook you. You keep reading. That's what you need to do with your personal statement. Make it interesting. So a way you can do that is kind of have an overall story or example of something in your life and how that ties into dentistry. Like stories, things like that, they're good. Experiences that are interesting. You know, make sure your personal statement is interesting so they want to read it. And then after making sure it's interesting so they want to read it, make sure that they can read it. So you need to really make sure that the grammar is on a point so make sure you edit that and have other people edit you know edit a few times and have other people edit like i send it to my sister-in-law who's like an english major to edit it send it to my sister and brother who are in med school and who have written you know personal statements to get into med school and kind of get their opinion on personal statements and such so i've sent it to many people and i sent it to my mom because you know it's my mom you know but get it from many different people you know get their input see what they think of it you know Make sure that they're double checking you with grammar and things so you don't say stupid things or say things that are wrong that will turn off the readers or turn off the admissions committee. Don't do that. Don't do that. Anyways, I mean, and some of their ideas might be good or bad. You know, that's just kind of how it goes. Your personal statement is an opportunity, like you're trying to sell yourself, but what am I at? Four? This one is I went to a little seminar thing about right, personal statements and they were saying that one of the things that they look for the most and when they're reviewing applications is they wanted to see growth in that applicant. You know, that's what this particular group really likes to see. So, I mean, your personal statement's a chance to make you stand out and you want to like sell yourself, but I think it's also a really good opportunity to show growth and how you've grown. Being Working hard and growing is a lot more impressive than just things you have done, in my opinion. You want to show growth. Growth is even, I think, more important than what you've accomplished. You know, showing that you're able to work hard and over-accomplish things and the things you've learned from that, I think, says a lot more to the admissions committee than just, like, a list of stuff you've done. So talk about growth. And it also shows that you're humble. Sometimes when you just read ones that have lots of accomplishments, you kind of get a little arrogant, you feel. And they don't often like that because you are about to be humbled when you get into dental school or med school or whatever it is. So I'm just kind of another little tidbit. I think your personal statement, this is like five, whatever. Okay, five. This one's like more up to you guys, but just something to think about. So 
My GPA, as you not you know, was not the best. I kind of struggled through school, so I put that in my application. Kind of, you know, I used like skiing as like this metaphor, and about like learning to get back up. And I used like schooling because school's always been difficult for me. And so I kind of put that in my application, like, hey, school's always been a struggle, but I've worked hard and I've been able to like accomplish things and get where I wanted to be. So I kind of use my personal statement as a way to kind of help give reasons for why my GPA was kind of a little bit lower. So that's something you can consider about. Now you will hear like some people will say things like that and other people will say, no, don't show weakness, like show your accomplishments. So that's kind of a balance. I've heard advice on both. I lean more towards, you know, to like show that you're humble, that you've learned from it and then you've grown. I think says more than just like your list of accomplishments and whatever, like praising yourself. But that's me. Some people will tell you a different thing. Make sure some are six. If I'm counting right, I may have lost track. I don't know. But yeah, number six is to give yourself lots of time. I had some friends that were just like, yeah, I'll write it like the week of. And I'm like, that is a bad idea. Give yourself lots of time to start writing it. The good news is you can start writing your personal statement at pretty much any time. Like you don't have to wait for the application cycle. Like you can have that thing pretty much written before your application even opens. So like do it or at least get a good idea of what you're going to write. So I believe if it's still the same, it's 4,500 characters and that includes spaces. So that's how long it is. So start writing. Like you can start writing now and that'll give you lots of time to think about it, get other people's opinions, have people read it and just continue along those lines. So give yourself plenty of time. I think I started, I started like a month and a half before and I would change things. So you know, and I would like change things or put things, move things back, get people's opinion. Like I went through a lot of different drafts and tried a lot of different things, you know, to see what I liked or what I didn't like, what people liked, what didn't like. So it's good to just give yourself a lot of time, give yourself that cushion. And then, you know, when your application starts getting close, that's not one of the things that you have to stress about. Like there's already going to be a lot of things you have to stress about with getting right, like getting your transcripts, your letters of rec, all that stuff. So that's one less thing. If you get it out of the way early, then you're good. You're done. Anyways, I think that is pretty much all of my advice. If you have any questions for me, please let me know in the comments below. Yeah, if you guys want, I can put a copy of my personal statement. I think I still have it, so I'll find one of the I'll find that and I can put that in the description. So let me know if you guys are interested in seeing that. Um, as always, if you like and subscribe, I really appreciate you guys. But thank you for watching the video. You guys have a good day.